Number 4. This is 1976 D Bicentennial Quarter Dollar with Double Die Obverse. Graded in Mint State 66 by PCGS. Die doubling is seen on Liberty, the motto in God we trust and to some extent on the date. Collectors and numismatists often find double die error coins fascinating, and they can be quite valuable, depending on their condition and rarity. The 1976 D25C double die obverse quarter is considered a relatively scarce error, and its value can vary significantly depending on factors such as the severity of the doubling, the overall condition of the coin. If you have a 1976 D25C double die obverse quarter, it is essential to have it authenticated and graded by a reputable coin grading service to determine its value accurately. This error quarter dollar ended up selling for $8,400. Number 3. Here is 1932 D. Washington Quarter in MS-65 condition. The Washington design was introduced on the quarter in 1932 and the Denver Mint struck a small production of 436,800 pieces of the new design, making the issue an elusive key in this popular series. According to Heritage Auctions, this spectacular gem displays sharply detailed design elements and lustrous, well-preserved surfaces, with outstanding eye appeal. PCGS has graded only two numerically finer examples. This one was sold for $11,400. Number 2. This is 1934 D quarter dollar with medium motto. Graded in Mint State 67 by PCGS. A CAC label further cements the desirability of this coin in a technical sense, but no number can describe its qualitative beauty. Pale blue and pastel yellow tints wash over silver base surfaces. The obverse also has intermittent specks of orange and reddish brown most visibly at the upper and lower right rims. A couple of tiny, shallow reed marks at Washington's lower neck attract notice only because the rest of the coin is so extraordinarily clean. It was sold for $14,100. Number 1. And here is attractively toned 1941 Washington quarter in MS-68 condition. Enchanting superb gem backed up by a CAC green label testifying to its outstanding eye appeal. Deep reddish brown, orange, and gold peripheral toning seeds to intensely lustrous yet subtly frosted silver centers. While the design features are a tad short of a full strike, most of Washington's hair and the eagle's breast feathers are well defined. Both sides are immaculately preserved. It was sold for $18,800. Thanks for watching this episode. Have a good one.